Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing standard Thai work permits as well as these sort of new e-work permits. I've discussed these e-work permits before. Generally speaking, they're associated with BOI consideration or other specialized acts that were designed, things like the Petroleum Industrial Estate Authority and things that were designed to encourage certain types of investment here in Thailand. Sometimes, not in all cases, you may see one of these e-work permits issued. And then how does that compare to a standard work permit? Well, a standard work permit is what it is. And we've showed it many times. It's, it's a little work permit booklet. An e-work permit is exactly what it sounds like. It's just sort of issued. It's digital. It's out there in the ether. Now, one of the issues associated with these is when you're converting, like if you're changing jobs from a company that may, may be certified, so you have a, a e-work permit to a company that doesn't have that certification to get a standard work permit, that can be a bit of a tricky thing. The formalities associated with that can be rather formidable to get all that completed in such a way that a smooth transition is possible. In some cases, it's almost required that someone transitioning from a standard to an e-work permit basically leave the country and come back in in order to rectify that changeover. Now, that's not always the case, so it may not be a terrible idea if you're in a situation involving either a transition or you're trying to decide between a standard work permit and an e-work permit, it may not be a terrible idea to contact a legal professional, gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed. 